Oh, it's like we're, it's like we're at the cottage, man. I know. Never, you'd never know the difference. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. You're nice and loud. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mike Ruski, for another Ruski Brewski review, but not just a Ruski Brewski review, but we're here on location at Too Good Park for beer review 500. What? 500. You, you didn't even give me, I should have done my hair, man. <laughs> beer review 500, you're kidding beer, me. Beer review 500, for a big beer like this, Wow. gotta be 500. Wow. Gotta be 500. This is exciting, man. If you're wondering what's in this special box right here, it's from the Flying Monkeys Brewery. It is their 2016 vintage Invictus Russian Imperial Stout. Coming in and at the booziest beer we've ever had and probably will have for quite a while. 18.4%. No way. 18.4? That's insane. That's fucking massive. That's wild, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually so boozy. I know. Hey, did they have this? Uh, did you do uh, like? Can you age this? Up to ten years. Did you buy another one to age? I did. Good. For ten years. You're gonna do it ten I'm years. I'm gonna do it ten years. Did you buy one to age for one year? No, I didn't. How, how much are these running? Thirty bucks a bottle. Wow. Thirty bucks wow. a bottle. This is the most expensive beer. Yeah, it is. I, I'm drinking. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready to get into this? Hell yeah, man. Fucking right. Comes in this beautiful. Yeah, it looks beautiful, man. Gold and black with blue accent box. Yeah. It could be a collector's item one day. Look at that. Wow. You have to be kidding me, man. Not at all. Look at that. It's all golden. It kind of looks like it's like from Egypt or something, you know? Like the mm -hmm. the golden, uh, and like the, the, the scriptic writing, like the cursive writing. Yeah, yeah. It looks very, yeah. very, very fancy. Jeez. Whoa. I'm kind of worried about this. Yeah, I know. Thank God it's 500 ml. Um, I know. Imagine uh, 710. Not a chance. Not a chance. There goes the box. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're gonna pour it real quick. I'm losing like a lot of money there. Yeah. Oh shit. It's 500 bucks. Coming down the <laughs> Caps not what even. Ha what happened? Just started coming right out? Yeah, because it's under so much pressure, right? Yeah, I like how, how the hell do they brew this to 18%, man? Honestly, I'm gonna read the box and we'll find out. Yeah. This is absolutely crazy. See, it's, not, it's not like it's a 14 or a 15 or, you know? No, where not it's at like, all. Okay, it's, that's pretty heavy. But yeah. Like, we're, 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 we're really getting it. Uh, wow. Jeez, couldn't even. Damn, I knew that was gonna happen too. Imagine that 10 years just shoots right off. Yeah. <laughs> you got, that'll definitely happen, eh? It's gonna explode just yeah. in the middle of the night. My hands are so sticky. Oh no, we should buy some. Oh, my. Got some water. We got the pond. Oh yeah, that's right. I like big books and I cannot lie. You're kidding me, it says that? Uh, that's exactly what it says. Kind of fitting. <laughs> big books. I don't, know, I don't get it though. Well, because I read big books the odd time. No, oh I know, but how come, how come it's saying that though? I don't know why. Is that, it's like, you think each one's different? Probably. Uh, I guess we'll find out in about 10 years. Yeah. Or a year if I grab another bottle. I'm already smelling that. Just yeah. from what spilled, that's a big foul there, but we can't, I couldn't help it. You know what would be pretty funny? You open the next one and it says, I still like big books and I can't Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, man. Holy hell, this thing is carbonated. Oh, yo, look at it, man. Mine's mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's just like rippling over. effect. Yeah. Jesus. Is it safe? It's definitely safe. That's wow. black. That is that's black. pitch nice. black. It's like they brought the moon out early. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! You know what though? It's I. It's actually kind of has like a mat, like a some like like the alcohol hits you. Yeah. But there's like some like layering over it. Yeah, there that's is. That's coming in. Definitely like okay, definitely chocolate and coffee, but the 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 like the, the barrel is just like the barrel. in this beer. Yeah. Wow. But you know what it smells like? It smells like that port, that sherry port that you had. Can't remember. Yeah, but like it smells like, or like just port in general, you know? Okay, like okay. It smells like that. Yeah. 
sort of thing. Which I guess this is closer to an alcohol percentage. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Lots of chocolate, actually. Very chocolate. Lots of chocolate, for sure. Boozy, but not as boozy smelling like when you look at 18.4%. <coughs> yeah. But it just feels, it just smells like a heavy smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, yeah. ca- I'm excited, but kind of nervous. Yeah, man. me too, dude. <coughs> me too. Probably got about $10 off a glass and then $2 or $5 on the. Ugh. <laughs> Damn. Ready to do it? Oh, I'm excited. 500 beers. Cheers. 500 beers, guys. Happy 500, guys. Crack a beer and enjoy. Crack a beer and enjoy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like cherries. Really, eh? Yeah, cherries and like chocolate and oak and bourbon and booze. But it's not as boozy as I thought it was gonna be. It's pretty tame. Cherry. Very syrupy. Yeah, yeah. Big, big molasses in there, but yeah, really syrupy. Uh, maybe, maybe I can't get the. Uh, <laughs> like I'm getting like like chocolate syrup. Yeah. You know, like yeah, a for oozy, sure, for sure. Boozy kick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I can't get that cherry. I don't know. I'm getting cherry. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. It's like ch- like like a semi-sweet chocolate with some cherry, and then just like yeah, mass amounts of just ooey gooey goodness. Holy shit. I'm coming off a little bit of a cold, so maybe that's why. Uh, yeah, it could maybe be. That's why I can't yeah. get the cherry. God damn. God damn. Holy shit. Definitely worth the 30 bucks. Dude. This is delightful. It, it really is. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's not even too sweet. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, syrupy. Yeah. But it's not too sweet. I think like that's where I think the alcohol and the oakiness sort of cuts that sweetness a bit. Like Huts. Yeah, like it gets up just to the point of too sweet, yeah. but then it's just it's it's beautiful. Yeah. Do you do you get like butter? Do you get like a buttery taste? Like a buttery texture as well? Like like melted butter. Like texture? melted butter. I can kind of see what you're saying. Are you yeah, that? yeah. I think it's syrupy, but parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really. Filling in the mouth. Yeah, it's a it's a heavy friggin' beer. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Best thirty bucks. Best, I'd thir- say. best thirty bucks I've ever spent. Damn straight. That is quite delightful. Jesus. What's it say on the bottle? I'm the master of my fate. I'm the brewer of my soul. Alrighty. Rich and warming, this bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout is offering to devote uh, to devo- yeah, devotees of independent craft brewers everywhere who understand beers that are years in the making, entirely unprofitable, and completely craft. Damn. This bottle's all sticky. Do we have ingredients? I don't think we do. You want to read the other side of it? Let's do it. Go for Let's it. Imperious and Imperial, at 18.4% alcohol, this graceful, ebony-bodied Russian Imperial Stout was aged in Heaven in Heaven Hill, Jim Beam, and Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels for a year, amplifying the strata of, the, of time, art, and geography in one beautiful creation. God damn. Holy crap. I'm kind of speechless on this beer. Dude, this is insane. Ebony bodied Russian Imperial Stout. Yeah. Dude, is Heaven Hill an actual place? Or is that just like a, like a like Heaven like, Hill? I honestly don't even know if it's a real place or not. <coughs> Jim Beam Buffalo Trace Bourbon. For a year. So it's aged for a year. Aged for a year. So they started brewing it, I'm guessing, then in 2015. Oh, so this is a 2016 bottle. What? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's about three years old right now. No way, and they're just they're just bringing it out, or do you? No, they, they they I guess they've kept a few bottles, uh, yeah. and then they bring it out again every year for a bit. So when you go to the place, was there like a? This is when you came back from the cottage, right? Yeah, I came back from the cottage, <clears throat> and uh, went in, went into the brewery, and they have it. They had it in their in their fridge, in their yeah. beer fridge, but only empty empty boxes. You yeah. had to go up to the counter and be like, I need this. You have to like go into the back cupboard, open yeah. it up, brush yeah. off and the cobwebs. They, whenever like you, they, they saw me like <laughs> bringing out the uh, the box, yeah. I guess they were, ran and talked to like their head brewer or something. Yeah. And, and a gentleman came over and started explaining the beer to me. No and way. And it was just like, how many bottles do you want? I'm like, I need two bottles, please. It's like, perfect. You have to go really? in the back and grab them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when you're picking up that box, they know you mean business. Yeah, because you're probably the only person that comes in there. And you know, buys, the, buys the fancy stuff, yeah. Well, and also people, I'm sure, are like scared. They say 18.4. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, yeah, you know, I don't know if I can handle that. Exactly, exactly. Because it's a small bottle too, right? So it's not a it's not like bottle to share with everyone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But even like down this year, you're definitely going to get a nice, <clears throat> nice drunk off it. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Crushing a bottle of wine right there. To the face. Yeah. If you, if you do a whole bottle. Yeah, pretty much. Holy crap. Oh, it's a 473 bottle. It's not even 500. Good. Good lord. Good lord. Good lord is right. Jesus. This is, this is ridiculous. It's just so damn smooth. I know, man. Like, we've had 15% on this channel where it's like, ooh, like, alcoholy. Yeah. This? Not as bad. Not Not as bad at at all. Not at all. It's actually quite, uh, quite nice. Yeah, that it is. Fan free, fantastic. Yeah. The alcohol does start to kick in a bit. It does. It does, and it definitely is like it's very chocolatey, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of chocolate notes. Um, are you still are you still getting the cherry? A little is bit it, less. It like a dark cherry. Like a. Yeah, I would say, yeah, like dark dark cherry and like chocolate. Okay. But after a while, like it's, this is warming up a bit. The cherry's sort of leaving. Yeah. Mm. And definitely more of the booze is coming out a lot stronger now. Like the alcohol the bite. Really, eh? Yeah. Hey, so I know like um, you're, when, you're, you're, when you open a bottle of wine, you're supposed to leave it out for a bit. Mm-hmm. Get get the airs out. Get, get uh, Like have the air come circulate through it. Yeah, yeah. You get like a whole different flavor mm-hmm. than when you if you like if you open a good bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah. Or an old bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. So if, do you think uh, the same applies for like a, a very expensive and nice aged beer like this? You know what? I'm I'm not too sure. I mean, I don't think I've heard of anything. Even when I went to my class, like you want to like let it air out kind of thing. Like yeah. you kind of just want to get right in. If I could be totally mistaken though, I guess I'll learn when I go back to school. Oh yeah, two more months. Three, two more. Yeah, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half more months. But yeah, this is just, but yeah, like I did did give a little swirl, trying to get a little bit more head on there. And then once I did that, it opened up the booziness a lot more. Really, eh? Yeah. So I'm like, why why is it so like so much more boozy right now? <clears throat> I'm like, oh, I switched it around. Maybe it opened it up a lot. Like even on the nose now, like I'm getting a lot more like, like biscuity, less, less sweet. And, and then the alcohol is, is moving over into the nose a bit. Um, do you think this is going to be on untapped? It is. It is, it is on untapped. untapped. Yeah. With like what? Four four reviews. <laughs> yeah, I think it's got. I think it's got actually a decent number. But dude, like, un- un- is untapped just Ontario? <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, any beer that people like put in. So like from around the world, the states, and Canada. But people can also like view it from wherever. Like yeah. you get people from everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, how many people you know are are on that app that are from that are going to Barry to get Flying Monkeys to get this bottle? I, ooh, I'm not too sure. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a rare. It's uh, gotta be a. Well, let's see. Invictus. Come on. Where's the? 2016. If there's cherry in this, I'm gonna jump off. I'm, 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 I'll jump off this because that. If there is cherry, it is such a subtle note. And well, if you pick that up, I will actually draw. I'll jump off this. <laughs> I'll jump into the river. I don't think you'll need to do that because it's yes. not on the website anymore. But there is a description on Untapped. 
And this is the second vintage 2016 in the Solera series. Invictus ages over a year in Heaven's Hill, or yeah, Heaven or Haven Hill. Buffalo Trace and Jim Beam Bourbon Barrels pours opaque ebony with voluptuous aromas of raisin, amaretto, and roasty bourbon. The silky, viscous mouthfeel coats the palate with a turbinate. Wow, turbinado. Tur tur yeah, turbinado. Turbinado. That's turbinado the sweetness. New word of the day. Yeah, turbinado, guys. Turbinado. Dark fruit <laughs> and a smooth, belly warming, spirited finish. Dark fruit? Dark fruit. Oh! So I guess you could count dark cherries in there. You <laughs> better jump. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't believe you picked that up. Yeah, there's no, actually there's no such thing as a dark fruit except for dark cherry. Except for dark cherry. Well, dark like, cherries what about don't... plums and raisins? Oh, that's true, true. Good mm -hmm. point. Yeah, fix that. Maybe blueberries? Maybe. But there's definitely no blue. Blueberries have a stronger taste, right? Yeah, blueberry, and that's a bit more sweeter. Sorry, I just had to fix the settings and make it a little bit lighter. Which is I better for video. I can't believe you picked up on that, man. That, that is so subtle, if anything. How many, t total 349 reviews. And like, what's like, um, yeah, average. what's like some of the other ones? Like a thousand? Yeah, usually in the, in the higher hundreds to the thousands. Nice, nice. Average rating out of those 300 and, and I guess, 20, 25 check-ins. Do you ever, do you ever put your, your review up in here? What, on, on Untap? Oh, on Untap, yeah. The Odd Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 4.52 bottle caps out of 5. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's high, dude. We, they're they're uh, tough markers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them can be tough. Wow. But this, this is this is definitely going, going for it. It's really nice. Holy shit. <coughs> it's definitely worthwhile, man. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely a beautiful night. Oh, buddies are fishing over there. Yeah. He's we're, in the background. We're having more fun over here. Oh, a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. Nice. We're, sa we're saving water here, boys. Exactly. <laughs> I imagine this in 10 years. Yeah. I wonder how it's going to... I wonder if the fruit's going to be more... Like... Mm. If it's going to be more alcohol-y. Mm -hmm. Or if the fruits and like the chocolate's going to really like... Intensify kind Intensify. Of because this is already quite intense. Yeah. Because 10 years, you're looking at what? Like 25% on this thing? Does it, give, does it grow a percent every year? It's like That's what I've heard. I'm not, I want to I wanna actually like get to the bottom of that and figure it out. Is it 10%, like 1% each yeah. year that it ages in the bottle? Because <clears throat> if it is, then it'd be like a 28% yeah. beer. 28% beer. Because yeah, like it still ferments in the bottle a little bit. And this is sugary as all hell. There's definitely a lot of room for it to grow. That would that, that's gonna knock us on our asses. Yeah. It's gonna be like yeah, 34. It's like, hey, you want you want to drink a bottle of rum with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, but did you say that uh, some guy drank like a 85 percent or something? Remember for your beer review, it was like the highest alcohol beer of all time. Oh, it's uh, I think it's about 64.5 percent. 64.5. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Getting close, man. 28 percent. Getting close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. God damn. What a perfect beer for a... Well, look, look at this evening. I know, right? Clear skies. Perfect. Nice sunset in the background. Yeah. It's actually gorgeous. Mm. It's actually gorgeous. I'm getting out. Ooh, this is touching a little, I think. Yeah. Dude, I wish, wish it was a bigger bottle, man. It's actually delightful. Mm-hmm. I think... Beer Review 500 has been the best beer. I think it has. I think it really has. It's been absolutely phenomenal. So I just, wow. Yeah. Beer Review 1000 would be like a $60 bottle. Yeah. I'm going to try to find something really nice for that. <sighs> so I had to grill steaks for work the other day for a bunch of construction workers. It's good where? I, at work at uh, Angus, I had to grill up steaks for this, for, like this barbecue combo. Yeah. There was a bunch of these construction workers, you know, like big, like serious dudes. And I'm like, there, I'm just like, fuck, people are gonna be asking for like this steak, like this, this temperature and that and whatnot. Are they golfing or they're like they're golfing, like, like grabbing yeah. food. <clears throat> and um, I'm kind of stressing because like I barely barbecue steaks. And uh, this guy comes up, he's like. 
I want, you know, I want me medium, uh, rare to medium rare. I'm like, oh no, fuck. I'm like, this barbecue is absolute shit. Is it really? It's terrible. Okay. It, yeah, it's garbage. But I'm there throwing the steak. I've been probably about 20, 25 steaks in right now. Still trying to get a feel for everything. Ooh. That's what, that, that's what uh, steaks were ordered? At the end of the day, I grilled like, I grilled probably 200 steaks. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding. Like sirloins, T-bones? Uh, I think they were sirloins. Yeah. Wow. But uh, he asked for, for rare, medium, rare. I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be absolutely terrible. Like, I'm gonna mess this dude's order up. And he looked like a serious guy. I'm like, fuck. So like, I those grilled. Guys, those guys are the nicest usually. Yeah, they, they are for sure. So I get it, get it grilled up, serve it to him. He he like leaves or whatnot, comes back. This is the best steak he's ever had. Wants a second one. Second you, one kid, you laughed, you died. I fucking, I didn't say anything outside. I was just like, thank you so much. And then I just went back to it, grilled up another one. The next thing you know, he's, he's there in the tournament the next day. And he comes back and tells me the same thing. I'm like, dude, both steaks were great. I went inside to have dinner where like real chefs are cooking steaks in there. He said, those were absolute shit. You're kidding compared me. To yours. <laughs> I, just, I looked at him like, bro, I grill steaks once a year. He's like, you're shitting me. I'm like, nope. Only time. <laughs> Got so lucky. Are you kidding me, man? Nah. Dude, you have to come over and grow a couple of steaks then. Dude. I know, I know. Fuck. That's hilarious. You're fucking dying. Dude, you should be a chef, man. I want to do like... Yeah. Yeah, like a nice food and drink channel? Yeah. Beer pairing videos? Yeah. 100%. That's hilarious, man. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that's really getting chocolatey at the uh, oh, yeah. final sips there. Mm -hmm. Like that lint chocolate. Yeah. It's like a mix of yeah. like sweet and then super dark. Yeah, that's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, that's so funny though, man. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. Good job with the steak. That's great. <laughs> so, it worked out why, well. Why did you add 200 though? It was like a whole team? Like a whole. Uh... Yeah, well, we were given like a bunch of raw steaks. Um, and then I think in the tournament, I think we ended up selling 130, 135, something like that. But there were enough. There's probably about 200 steaks through the whole thing. I just cooked them all up. Hey, what'd you do with the other 70? That's a lot of steaks. Um, well, I ate a couple, um, and then a few other the a few other my coworkers ate some, and then yeah. the rest, I don't know. We just tossed them. You're kidding me. A waste of money for Angus. I know. Such a waste. Such a waste. Could have given them to me. Oh damn. <laughs> Bring them over, freeze them up. Well, it's just like after they're outside for you know five six hours. Like, what yeah. are you gonna do with yeah, them? Sure, sure, sure. I'm like, I'm not gonna take these home. <laughs> Mm. Wow. But hey, it worked out. It was a great day. Twenty. It was like twenty-one fifty for for the for the steak sandwich, a pop, and a bag of chips. And then when when we charged that, because everything's already prepaid for, um, the servers get ten percent of per. like ten percent of the overall sales before tax. So it was like a grand. What? Mm -hmm. It was like a grand. I was it a grand or like nineteen hundred? <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah, dude. Before tax. What? Mm -hmm. And you got to take and you got to take home. You hear that boys? Nick took home nineteen hundred bucks. Fucking cash. <laughs> money. Nick is equals money. I parked in a no parking spot. You think that was a good idea? That was a good idea. I think you should be fine. It should be fine. Was, was, yo, I could get any parking at the at the, at the pond there. Really? No, no, it wasn't Crosby, it was the pond. Oh, oh on that side, yeah, yeah. You know like right behind there's like a dumpster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right behind there. <laughs> you, think, you think that's all right? Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna go there. Come on. It's Friday evening. Exactly. Just relax a little. Bit, I right? think you, I think you you should be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Park right beside the no parking spot. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> it's too obvious that they won't even they won't even exactly. See, won't like even what see. what idiot would really park here? Exactly. Jokes. The opportunists do. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Oh, we gotta do that. We gotta do the last sip. We got enough. We, you know, you got enough. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. This has turned out to be just delightful. Wonderful time spending, you know, a couple hours chilling at the, at the dock. Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been amazing. Oh yeah. But one one of my favorite beer reviews on the channel. Definitely, definitely. And, and the beers like changed throughout so much, like beginning in that cherry and then moving out of that cherry more to heavy booze. And then now it's a bit more chocolatey, a bit yeah. more subtle on everything. Yeah, very chocolatey right now, no doubt. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and I got two gray glasses. I did a research. I'm like, hey, what glasses do we absolutely yeah, need? Yeah, like thanks, tulips. Thanks for bringing these tulips out, man. No problem. They were like, they really, they really brought it all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wish I had a flying monkeys tulip. I didn't want to bring the the flying monkeys big glass because they have one. Yeah, oh, you have one? yeah, I have one, nice. but it's like a big 20, 20 ounce glass. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. this won't be good for the beer. <laughs> Invictus 2016 Vintage Russian Imperial Stout. There it is. Damn. Damn good. Holy hell. What would you give it? What's the rank? Let's do the final sip first. Oh. But is I think that, we already know. Do we do that? Do we use it? Oh, I thought it was always like before or yeah. after. Yeah, we'll whatever. do it after. Whatever. We'll see. We'll save it. Cheers, everybody. And then I thought it's like well, with all that said, in a bit, in a few. I know. I, I, mean, I, I gotta thought, think. I, I thought no. it was. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was after this. <laughs> no, sometimes we do it a little bit different, so, depending so on how drunk we are. We're switching it up today. <clears throat> that we are. It up today. <clears throat> I'm giving it a solid 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything's, a 10. everything's a 10. The box is amazing. Yeah. The, the, the bottle's amazing. And you said you knew when, when it was brewed on? 2016, you said? In 2016, yeah. Is that from the guy telling you, or is that from the box? No, that's from... It's not from the box. I don't think it says 2016, but I kn on the label at the brewery, it was at the 2016. Brewery. There you go. One, mm -hmm. one of the best. Probably no, the best. The best. The best beer I've had, mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Great job. 10. Ten. Ten. Tens all around, you know, you can't you can't go wrong with this beer. If you're a beginner, stay far away from this beer and drink a lot more to yeah. level up to this one. But if you're looking for a damn delectable, just slow sipping, I just the hell of a time and you wanna feel something, definitely Invictus. Get it while supplies last. I think they do a limited run each year for for the 2016 uh 2016 uh version of it and i don't think there's a 2017 version or anything after that you're kidding me it's like not, not that i've seen next year do you, do you think i can have a 2016 <clears throat> they might i don't know i don't know how many how many bottles they have left but hopefully they uh they have someone when uh you go up or whatever i say if you yeah. want to grab go yeah, yeah, yeah. grab some Yo, did you guys end up, end up going to the cottage yeah, a who'd, couple weeks who'd ago. Who'd you go with, Caitlin? No, I just went with myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, uh, Your parents? Yeah, me and my parents, and then uh, Aunt Jude and Uncle Phil were up because they were celebrating Andre's grad. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to him. Yeah. Hey, did you read this? It's totally, I, I, totally different. Is that totally the, uh, different? <sighs> Ooh, I didn't read. I didn't read the box, the rest of the box. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really falling apart. Oh, I'm oh, 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 severely falling apart. What's going on here? Imperious and imper- No, we did read this. It's the same thing. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Imperious and Imperial, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Blend Creation. Oh, beautiful. Wait, what? Yeah, it's just the same thing in different- Slightly different wording. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Same thing. Same thing on either side. There you so go. we're good. We're good. Nick's not slipping. No. It's on his P's and Q's. No, we're good. Uh, vision's a little wavy. Yeah. But we're okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that just about wraps up Beer Review 500. Do you have any wow. final thoughts? Thanks for thanks, thanks for taking me on the ride, man. Yeah, you're welcome. You're great, welcome. Great to be on the ride. Great to be tasting all these fantastic <laughs> 500 beers. Man, I'm happy. I'm happy you've been on this journey with me. I mean, oh, you, you've come a long way. Come a long the first, way, man. Since the first beers that I, we've done, I can't even go out and have a beer and be like, I'm getting a little bit sense of uh, <laughs> sense of raspberry in this beer. Yeah. A little bit of, uh, <laughs> A little bit of metallicness in this beer. <laughs> yeah. what's, what's it called again? Omami. Omami. Me a little omami, omami in this yeah, beer. Yeah. <laughs> Some beers have metallic -y tasting. That's not never a fun yeah. time. No, those are always disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you, uh, all you guys. Sorry, words aren't working right now. Uh, thank all of you for watching and supporting the channel for these past 500 beer reviews and all the other little quirky videos that I do. There's still going to be a ton more stuff coming up in the future. Uh, what it is, I have no idea, but all this stuff is working in my mind. I just got to implement them. And, yeah, holy shit. Um, holy next, shit. next big beer will definitely be at 1,000. But wow. we're always going to find something very interesting and very tasty to enjoy. Either with myself, my brother, Jordan, or whoever's welcome to join. 
always open to uh, a lot of guest appearances. Yeah, how do you find new beers, man, after 500 now? You know, it's like... Hey, you know, it's getting hard at the it's LCBO. Getting hard. It's getting yeah, hard. Yeah, I go to the LCBO and I look out along the shelves and I'm like, damn it, had all these, where's the yeah. new stuff? I gotta start doing little venture vlogs to different breweries, I yeah. guess. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the next step for the channel. Yeah, beers and burgers. Beers and burgs. Beers and burgs. Fucking right. Well, guys, before I leave you, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Rushi, I'd greatly appreciate it as well. Jordan, thank you again for joining me, especially at this uh, mo uh, uh, milestone, not monument, not momentum. It is, it is moment momentous. <laughs> yeah. It's very momentous. Yeah. That's a word. As well, Jordan, did you did you take down your videos on your channel? No, I still have them there. Okay, good, good. His channel will be linked down in the description box below as well for all your money making and investment needs. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Bruski. And like we always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. 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 Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. That was a two left clink. Fucking right. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, that's a nice little touch. Yeah. Dude, imagine crushing the bottle to the face. Oh, God.